Hello friends, in the present video we will understand the concept of dishonor of bills of exchange. Whereas the concept of bills of exchange, one video and journal entries of bills of exchange when the bill is honored and solved problem of bills of exchange when the bill is honored. These three videos have already been made and link pertaining to these three videos will be shared in the i button as well as in the description box. Continuation of this, the, this video. Uh, the bills of exchange video pertaining to retirement, renewal and accommodation will be made in future and that link will also be shared in this video. Please watch the video completely and do subscribe my channel and motivate me to make more videos. So we will understand the concept what is dishonor here. Uh, dishonor of bill is refers to when the drawee or acceptor fails to make the payment to the holder of the bill, whoever holds the bill. On the maturity date, then that bill is said to be as dishonored. When the bill gets dishonored, the fact of dishonor must be recorded, must be registered by a notary on the bill of exchange. That is called as noting of bills of exchange. For the process of doing notary or noting on the bills of exchange by a notary, that person who does the notary will charge certain amount of fees for rendering services. That is called as noting charges. Please bear in mind these noting charges primarily be paid by the holder of the bill. Whoever may hold the bill, that fellow will make the payment. But ultimately this will be recovered from the drawee only. That is accepted. So, we will understand the journal entries. So, when you talk about the journal entries of dishonor of the bill, first we will take up in the books of drawer that is maker of the bill. There are four situations as you are already aware in case of honor of the bill was there and the same four situation will be there in the dishonor of the bill. First situation when the bill is retained till the maturity date. The entry for dishonor of the bill is Acceptor account data that is drawee account data or acceptor account data with the amount of bill as well as noting charges. That's just now I have explained what is noting. To bills receivable to cash with the amount of noting charges. Second situation when the bill is endorsed to creditor. In this case, the same acceptor or drawee account data to creditor account. Please bear in mind in all the four situations of dishonor of the bill, acceptor account will be debited. Acceptor account or drawee account you can call will be debited. Please bear in mind this fundamental fact while writing the dishonor of bill. You must debit the acceptor name. Right? Then the first situation as we are holding the bill that is held by the drawer himself, then he is paying the noting charges. When the bill is endorsed, then creditor will make the noting charges and that will be included. Right? So, when you see acceptor account has been opened, debited as a debtor again. Right? And bills receivable account closed in the first situation, that bills receivable account get closed by crediting. So, in the second situation, acceptor account again opened as a debtor, but creditor account to whom we have already given the bill, that bill got dishonored, now it has been opened by credit. So, like this, the general entries will be passed in various situations. Further two situations are, when the bill is sent to bank for collection. Again, as I told you, in all the cases, acceptor or drawee account will be debited. Two bills sent to bank for collection to bank with the amount of noting charges because banker was the holder of the bill, he paid the noting charges. When bill is discounted with the bank, already we sold the bill to bank. As I told you, acceptor account or drawee account will be debited to bank with the amount of noting charges. So finally, we will understand the ent entry in the books of drawee. In all the four situations, irrespective of material, whatever it may be the situation, all the four situations, the drive will pass only one entry. That is, bills payable account data to noting charges account data to drawer account. Noting charges in expense for him, it will be 
debited. So ultimately, as I told you, the draw E will make the payment of noting charges, right? So bills payable account is closed by debiting, right? And noting charges, then draw E account ultimately, drawer account ultimately opened by crediting, right? So these are the basic things we must understand journal entries. Clear? Once we understand the journal entries, we'll proceed for the problem. So this is one uh, question I have taken illustration. On Jan 1st, 2017, Swami sold goods to Varun for rupees 10,000 and drew upon him a bill of exchange for two months. Varun accepted the bill and returned to Swami. On the due date, the bill was dishonored by Varun. Record the necessary gel entries in the books of Swami and Varun in all the four situations like retain till the maturity date, discounted, endorsed and sent to bank for collection. In all the above cases, noting charges will be taken as 100. Clear? Very simple question and important. We will work out, we will solve the problem, how it will be simplified. Simple is solved. Right, again I have taken the question for quick review. So first, journal entries in the books of Swami, that is drawer of the bill and journal entries in the books of Varun, that is acceptor of the bill. So for journal entry, the goods sold. So in the books of Swami, what it will be written? Right, situation one we are taking when the bill is retained till the maturity date by drawer himself. So when the goods sold, the entry would be on 1117 Varun account data to sales account being goods sold to Varun. Whereas in the books of Varun, what will be the entry? The purchase entry will be passed. That is purchases account data to Swami account being goods purchased from Swami. So like this, both the parties will write one way fellow will, so drawer will write sale entries. The drawer will write accept uh, what we call purchase entry. So the relation of debtor and creditor will be created here. Varun account has been debited. So debtor relation is credited. Swami account will be is credited in the Varun books. Creditor relation is created. Now bill will be drawn by the Swami and sent to Varun for acceptance. When the bill is drawn and accepted in the books of Swami, the entry will be bills receivable account data to Varun account being bills accepted by Varun. So what has happened here? Varun account debited open and now get closed by crediting. Which account is coming into the picture? Bills receivable account. Whereas in the same way in the books of Varun, the Swami account data to bills payable. Swami account opened by crediting and get closed by debiting. New account is coming into the picture that is called as bills payable account. Right? Now, on the maturity date, the bill is dishonored. So, in the books of Swami, what is the entry for dishonor? Uh, dishonor being bill accepted is the narration for the acceptance. So, Varuna Kondita, as I told you, in all the cases, while writing the dishonor entry in the books of drawer, acceptor account should be debited. So, Varuna Kondita are two bills receivable account and two cash account with the noting charges. Together, 10,100 we have written in the Varun account. Right, being bill dishonor and noting charges paid. Right, so here the bills payable account will get closed. Closed. Right, so the entry is on the fourth March two thousand seventeen after two months, including grace period. So bills payable account data to bills payable account data noting charges account data to Swami account with the amount of. Noting charges that is 10,100 being bills dishonored and noting charges charged by whom the Swami that is drawer of the bill. This is the situation one when the bill is retained till the maturity. Day. Please bear in mind the entries pertaining to Varun will remain constant irrespective of the situation. When the situation gets changed, just entry changed. Changes will take place in the books of drawer only, that is maker of the bill. There is no change in the drawee entries. So drawee entries we don't write in the rest of the three situations. So these entries only. So next situation when the bill is, when the bill was discounted by Swami, the entries, first two entries will remain same. There is Varuna Kondita to sales, then bills receivable Kondita to Varun account, right? So Varun entries, we are not writing the same entries whatever we have written in the earlier slide. Next, 
on discounting of the bill discounting entry will be written on the same date 1170 that is bank account data discount account data to bills receivable this is the discounting entry already explained in the earlier video then now dishonor entry so in case of bill is already given to bank now it gets dishonored then in all the cases of dishonor whose account will be debited that is acceptor who is acceptor here varun account data to bank with the amount of 10,100 including noting charges that is bill is dishonor and noting charges paid by bank clear so these are the general entries when a bill is dishonored now next one when the bill is sent uh, endorsed to or Swami endorsed by Swami to Ramchand so what is the entry first two entries will remain same so that's the reason why I'm not explaining so same entries I have kept on endorsement of bill so Ramchand account data to bills receivable being bills endorsed to Ramchand creditor so we have given the bill to Ramchand therefore Ramchand has been debited bills receivable is credited now on the dishonor of the bill as I told you whose account should be debited always acceptor the entry will be acceptor or drawee account data to Ramchand including noting charges because these noting charges have been paid by whom Ramchand that's the reason why Ramchand is credited with 10,100 including notes being bills dishonor and noting charges paid by Ramchand not bank there it is a mistake it should be Ramchand sorry so right like, like this the dishonor entries will be passed Next situation when the bill is sent to bank for collection when we send to bank for collection first two entries remain same as you are already aware the sending to bill for collection when we send the bill to bank for collection what is the entry bill sent to bank for collection or bill sent to bank account data to bills receivable account but on dishonor of the bill what i told you whose account should be debited that is acceptor or draw account to bills sent to bank account being and to bank account with the noting charges narration being bill is dishonored and noting charges paid by the bank so like this the entries will be passed in all the situations i hope i made you understand the entire crux of the dishonor of the bill after watching this video your doubts will be clarified and if you have still doubts and if you are not able to solve the problems i will make one more video with a university questions and graded illustrations i will do so that you can have a grip and command over the concept of dishonor of the bill thank you very much for watching the video please do subscribe my channel mentor the trusted guide and motivate me to make more qualitative videos thank you very much